Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to blend using uh, chalk pastels. This is what the box looks like. And this is what it looks like inside the box. And these are in the blue cabinets. As you can see, some of them are broken and that happens from uh, dropping oil, uh, chalk pastels, dropping the box, or just not treating them uh, very nicely. So please just be very careful. They're really, really fragile. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to do a quick review of the color wheel. Um, so our primary colors are connected with the, the solid line. Okay, so we have yellow, blue, and red. Our secondary colors are connected with the dotted line, so green, orange, and purple. Um, so when you're blending, you want to kind of uh, s stick with neighbors. Um, you don't want to jump too far across the circle. So for example, if you try and blend opposite colors or complementary colors, colors that sit opposite each other on the color wheel, like green and red, or yellow and purple, you can end up getting something like a brown. So what you want to do is kind of go around. So yellow to orange to red to purple to blue to green to yellow again would be perfect, like a rainbow. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, kind of do kind of a little sunset with chalk pastels today. As you can see, I have my newspaper uh, because it gets a little bit messy. And I have this paper, and it's a little bit thicker than printer paper or regular paper. It's uh, called watercolor paper or multi-use paper, and it's just a little bit thicker. So I'm going to start with, here are my colors, I'm going to start with a really dark blue. And then I'm going to transition into a purple. From a purple, I might go to like a lighter blue. And again, I can bounce back they're still next to each other. I want blue, purple, blue, okay? Now maybe I want to go from this blue to like a, a magenta. And a magenta is kind of like a purpley red, so that'll work. And from the magenta, hmm, maybe a little bit of a lighter pink. And then to maybe like a orangey yellow. We'll see how that looks. So you can use these in a, in a couple different ways. I'll show you on this piece of paper. If you're covering a broad area you can kind of go like this and use them on their side. Okay what you want to try and avoid is like real sharp lines like this. Okay because when you blend them sometimes they can you see they show through a little bit and that looks a little bit unprofessional. So Gonna stay over here. This is my blue. It's pretty dark. I don't I want to leave a little bit of the white of the paper showing through so that I can add a little bit more color in there. Add my purple now. Now the trick with blending is to overlap. So if I start my purple here and don't go back up into the blue, they're not going to blend very well. They're just kind of going to sit next to each other. So part of blending is overlapping. So we're going to go back into that blue. You can see it start to blend already. Then I'm going to take my initial blue and kind of come back down over the purple again. So this is the second time I'm using the blue. Okay. I might actually bring the purple down a little bit more. Now I have my lighter blue. Remember, overlapping. I'm going to bring it back over the purple. And then I'm going to grab the purple again. Overlap over that blue a little bit. And as I go over the blue down here, I'm pressing lighter and lighter on the chalk pastel because you don't want a really dark purple over a light blue that would kind of black it out, or purple it out, rather. All right, and if I got purple on here, I mean, excuse me, blue on the purple, it's just nice to kind of wipe it off on the newspaper. Bring this down a little bit more. Back up. Get some magenta. 
as you can see, the, ma the magenta and blue kind of make a uh, purple. So it might go up a little bit. This is kind of a brilliant magenta. It's really bright. Great. Get that pink in there. Just a hair lighter. But it will allow me to add my orangey yellow. Or yellow orange, I should say. Down here. You can see as soon as I put it over that pinkish magenta, it starts to make a little bit of an orange. I'm gonna come back with my pink. Come back with my magenta. I'm kinda of going over it one more time. I cover up some of this lighter blue. I don't like it very much. And I'm gonna darken up the top up here. See all these little crumbs all over the place? So that's uh, powder from the chalk pastels, and you can kind of go like this with your paper. Comes off right here, looks really cool. Okay, so see I have a lot of colors on my fingers right now. So I have a little yellow on my pointer finger. Now if I put that in up here, I'm gonna end up with a little bit of green. So I wanna choose a finger that's a little bit clean or go clean my fingers or use a tissue. Let me use this one. And I'm slowly and methodically working my way down. Kind of line by line. I'm gonna go up a little bit again. So there's my sort of like sunset chalk pastel blending practice. Now this is a great technique if you're making a sunset or any sort of uh, big blending. Uh, you can paint over this with paint if you wanted to make like a silhouette and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, let's see. Hmm, okay. Silhouette of palm trees, okay? So a silhouette basically means there's light behind the object, which makes the object look black, even if it's not. So those palm trees obviously aren't black, but they look black in a sun in a sunset or sunrise. So you could paint over this um, or Sharpie over it, something black. Uh, maybe there's a plane flying through this sunset. Maybe there's a tree, maybe it's, there are like uh, planets up here in the outer space section. So, um, and, and you're not limited to sunsets with chalk pastels. You can really, you know, do whatever you want. Um, now with these, when I'm done, you see they're kind of uh, covered in other colors now. So it's really nice for your friends and peers if you just do this before you put them away. And that cleans them a little bit so that the next person doesn't have a green all over their yellow orange um, and you'll want to wipe down the table too uh, because there's powder everywhere uh, and hmm, I think that's it for chalk pastel blending <laughs>